Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my new tutorial Okay, as for today, I will show you especially the beginner on how you can do a turn dash animation uh, using camera and curve for your motion path Alright, let's begin okay, First of all, what you will need to do is you have to uh, create a curve for your cam for your camera path, so you just go to the curve tab here, and then select the nub circle, and click, and then you just have to resize the nub curve uh, to any size that that is not important. You just you just resize it first that so that you can see you can see the curve and then you continue with uh, create a camera oh sorry before that you have to rename your curve as uh, camera underscore path keep it it a habit to always rename whatever things that you just created in your working file and then next is you have to create a camera go to create and select camera cameras under cameras and select camera and click all right so Maya has created the camera but it's it's in the center of the view here you can move it to hit W on your keyboard and move the camera okay now you are in the perspective viewport view so you cannot see what are the view of your camera you have you may do so by click on the panel perspective view and shift it into your camera camera one okay but before that uh, you have to adjust a few settings for your camera you click on the display in the setting here and then go to the common on the preset here i'll just set it to hd 720 and then close and then go to the panel perspective and here's your camera view okay you can move your camera view like you move the you move the perspective view all right then what I will I will do is I just uh, set a proper framing that I want and then let's see here okay you can go to the view here camera setting on the resolution gate so this is your framing for the camera and just roughly so your subject will be in the center of your camera and then you may tear off the camera viewport okay and put it here all right next thing go back to your perspective view and then you can you may adjust your camera uh, okay next thing to do is to adjust the curve so it in in line with the position of your camera scale your curve okay somewhere here and then go to the side view and adjust the y position of the curve uh, parallel with your camera okay go back to the perspective view and now you will have to attach your camera to the curve what I will normally do I'll just move back the camera to the center reset all the data here to zero and hit enter and then the camera are 
camera is in the center hit 4 here and then uh, go to the outliner uh, sorry windows outliner and then select the camera that's the camera here and then uh, hit Control G on your keyboard Control plus G to group the camera see now if you click the plus button here the camera is uh, as position under the group 1 ok then what you have to do is you rename the group 1 into group uh, whatever that camera underscore G alright so the next thing to do is before you can attach the camera to the motion path here you will have to adjust the time frame the frame the the frame of your timeline so it will according you accordingly to your how how long that you want the animation to be bear in mind that mine is set into 24 frame per second okay and then I set it to 192 just hit here 192 and this is first frame okay maintain your slider in the first frame okay now we will attach the camera group to the motion path simply select the camera group camera G and shift select the motion path and go to animation tab here constraint motion path attach to motion path now if you scrub the slider here you can see you change the view to the camera first and then you can see you hit the play button here you can see the camera has been attached to the to the motion pass okay but but somehow the an animation of the camera look a bit uh, a bit off and weird so we want we would like to fix it that's why we group we attach the group of the camera to the motion path not the camera directly to the motion path okay select the camera go back to the perspective view okay not the group it's the camera you you can simply put the aim constraint of the camera to do whatever whatever things that is in the center of your subject okay like as for me I will attach it to the base here so I hit uh, T adjust the camera first okay like this you can see and then you select the the base first or whatever mesh that would like to become the constraint to the camera and then shift select the camera sorry select the base first and control select the camera if you is in the outliner and then uh, go to constraint aim constraint here you click on the box and edit reset setting tick the maintain offset and hit add okay now you go back if you I if I go back to the camera view and run the animation 
it has already fixed the animation for the character I think that's it and hope you enjoy the video and we'll continue the next video on how you can best render the the animation uh, in Maya alright that's it uh, thank you for watching